Hi there everyone, welcome to this video. My name is Pushpinder Gill. Uh, so this is a data sufficiency question that we have. So let's go ahead and solve this one. So this says that in a group of 80 college students, so you have a total of 80 college students, uh, how many own a car? So how many actually own a car? So let's, uh, that's the only information question STEM gives us. So let's move on to statement one. So statement one says that of the students who do not own a car, 14 are male. So we can clearly see that this is a two by two matrix that we have to draw here because it's kind of grouping students into male and female and people who own a car who do not own a car. So I'm just gonna write male, I'm gonna write female and total, people who own a car, people who do not own a car and total. So the total total is 80 students. Uh, so, the, so and that's what we know from the question stem and we are interested in finding how many people do own a car. So of the people who do not own a car, 14 are male. So there are 14 males who do not own a car. So this statement clearly doesn't allow us to get to X, right? So there's still so many unknowns out here. Uh, if we know this, uh, then we can make something about it. We still need to know a lot of pieces of information to get to this. So, so if this is clearly insufficient, right? So this is gone. So it's either answer option B, C, or E. Moving on to the second statement, it says, of, so again, I'm just gonna draw the same thing. So you have male, female, total, car, no car, total, and the total's total is 80, and we're interested in this. So it says, of the students who own a car, 42% are female. So that means this one is 42% of X. That means this one is 58% of X. Now that's the only thing I know here. However, there's one thing that's interesting here is that since we have proportions and number of female and the number of male has to be an integer. So that's a piece of information that we can use. So that means 42 by 100 of X has to be an integer, which means that let's just take it down to its, uh, uh, its form. So 21 over 50 X has to be an integer. So this means that this statement just clearly implies that for X to be an integer, for this whole thing to be an integer, X has to be either 50 or a multiple of 50. Okay, so if, if x is 50, so if x is 50, then clearly you get this to be 50, this to be 21, and this to be what, uh, 50 minus 21, right? So that would be 29. So that works out. But can x be 100? Can you make this thing to be 100? No, you can't because the total's total is 80. So that means the only way, uh, the only, only way uh, x can have a value if x is 50, there's no other value x can have. So that means this statement here is, is sufficient, right? So because it's, that's the only thing that it's giving us. So that means this one is sufficient. Answer option C and E are gone. B is the answer, right? So thank you very much for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one.